visionary messages what is going on visionary energies uh welcome back to prince tay all right this is prince tay i am prince tay all right <clears throat> and this is a reading for visionary energies for my higher vibrational energies entities individuals this is for you so make sure you like comment and subscribe visionaries i really appreciate it all right um feel free or yeah absolutely leave a donation my cash tag will either be in the title or the description of this video so make sure you go ahead and do that um my social media make sure you follow me on my social media that'll also be down in the description box below okay so that's going to be for my visionary messages here all right for my higher vibrational energies or my energies that vibrate on the very artistic um energy wavelength all right this is going to be for you spirit social angels and ancestors for my visionary messages let's see what kind of energies my visionaries could be looking forward to here could be moving into or could be dealing with this is going to be for all signs sun moon rising venus and north node for all signs so aries scorpio or excuse me aries leo sagittarius scorpio pisces cancer Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energies here, okay? All right, we have the Ace of Pentacles here, first card out, so I definitely, let's see, for all signs, let's get some more cards out here on the board. We have the Ace of Pentacles, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy, first card out here with the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see, Spirit, Source, Angels, Ancestors, all signs, visionary messages for all signs here, okay? Four chalices, Spirit, Source, Angels, Ancestors, visionary messages for all signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Oh, make sure y'all check out my film too, y'all, okay? I definitely did just upload a film on my channel. It was my first film um, that I actually made or created. Um, huge um, kind of... Um, what's the word huge uh kind of um, I, don't, I don't know why i want to i want to say landmark <laughs> but i know that's not the term i'm trying to get uh I can literally hear it, like hear the word that I'm saying. I just literally cannot say it. I'm not sure why. Um, maybe that's significant here. Maybe you all feel, uh, you could all feel as if there's something that you're wanting to express or bring to light or get out here. I mean, this could be creatively, uh, even as you're having a hard time expressing or finding a way to express. You know, we're not doing the reverses over here. We have the moon energy, followed by the queen of pentacles. Let's see, I one more. Okay, we have the ten of pentacles. I'll take it. All right. Pen uh, I'm not, I'm still trying. <laughs> um, just a huge mark for us on this channel or for me more specifically now we have very strong energy coming out here from my visionaries as usual we i usually get a lot of major arcana or minor arcana major arcana energy from my visionaries so um let's get one more card and we'll go ahead and start the reading but yeah yeah that um the film it was a ton of fun to record to make to edit to um fix okay if there was anything that needed to be fixed it was just very uh exciting for me um and as well for, as for the channel so i would really appreciate it if you all go ahead and you know check out that content like comment subscribe share the video if you can if you will um as well as my tarot readings okay so look out for those as well all right if you resonate with my readings indeed you are a higher vibrational being so congratulations if nobody told you that so it's an ancestor so visionary message this Alright, we're obviously going to get into the spirit, text, energy, um, higher self messages. We're just going to get some of the tarot. I see the star card that was significant, okay. Alright, 
right, we have the Ace of Swords. And the High Priestess, Temperance. As I said, a lot of Major Arcana. And then we have the Lovers on the bottom of the deck here. Okay. So let's get into the energy. <clears throat> so we have the Ace of Pentacles coming out here first. So there's absolutely some sort of um, lump sum. I'm hearing landscaping. A lot of you all could work in, um, you know, field industry or um, with kind of property or land, um, land markings. It's kind of... Um, Interesting how I said land, what was it, land, uh, landmarks or something along the lines of that. But that could be very significant. You all could be traveling, but I'm definitely saying you will have uh, some sort of payout, okay? You all could be receiving some sort of loan, some, some sort of payout from something here. I could be expecting um, such with the Ace of Pentacles energy. Yeah, I'm trying to, look, these are my AirPods and I put them in the washer. <laughs> Well, they were put in the washer and now they're a little crinkly. So I say everybody's headphones. So I'm gonna have to get some different ones or I'm gonna use this one until I can't use it no more. But back to the reading, uh, we have the four chalices here. So it's like, as you kind of like receive this kind of like newfound abundance of some sort here, it's kind of like you're, you're wishing something it's like something you're still not fulfilled i'm getting like money doesn't make you happy it's the energy that i'm getting here with the four chalices with the ace of uh, pentacles as well you can want to share your cup with someone okay i see that a lot of you all could be fully filling your cups up in order to um successfully or continue to um you know um, make a gesture elsewhere all right We have a lot of Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here as well with the Knight of Chalices. Okay, but I'm definitely getting even a masculine energy is wanting to come in and possibly um, offer some sort of proposal even, offer some sort of um, a gesture, okay, with the Knight of Chalices. This could be you, okay, moving into a much more authoritative energy for yourself, moving from this Knight of Chalices-like energy, this kind of Prince Charming as energy, and um, moving into a much more kind of managerable energy here, very uh, structured um, position of authority, leader-like as uh, here with the Emperor energy. This is also Aries energy and Taurus energy as well. Your moon energy could be extremely significant here. Okay, the crescent moon is also extremely significant. We have the princess of swords following the emperor. So there's a feminine energy. If you're the masculine energy or resonating more with this masculine energy, there's a feminine energy that absolutely has their eye out like on you or like looking out for you. Okay, you could be on the lookout for something or there's a feminine energy that is looking out for you. Okay, I don't know what this is. This could be, I'm getting that this could even be like contracts here. Okay, because with the princess of swords, swords talks about communication. So it could be looking forward to some sort of some, uh, um, communication here from you in secret and privacy here with this moon card energy all right we have the queen of pentacles excuse me we have the queen of pentacles following the moon card energy so a lot on this like divine feminine energy this feminine energy is actually very stable in their own right here okay temporarily even this feminine energy could have came into something kind of into some sort of a short term or um stability here to where they're able to access this high priestess um energy all right, or even embody this high priestess like um, um, frequency, um, energetic frequency. With that, okay, temperance. Yeah, and this very temperamental like energy here, okay? Yeah, this person speaks the truth or um, is in their truth with the Ace of Swords energy. We have the Two of Wands here as well. So Two of Wands talks about planting new seeds or building something or creating something new. Um, I get like Jack and the Beanstalk vibes with this Two of Wands, but creating something new with someone or with others here, okay? You have someone that they're passionate about here with this Devil Card energy as well. Or creating something that they are passionate about with someone that they are passionate about with this Lover's energy as well. All right, this is absolutely like a divine ordained here, especially with the lovers and the devil coming out next to each other. So not only are you all kind of equally vibrational in your shadow energy, you're also equally vibrational or a vibrational um, um, balance here, equally between one another here and your higher self energy or your light energy. Um, <clears throat> uh, we also have the 10 of chalices here. So this 10 of chalices energy, I'm also getting like, 
yeah, someone that like really makes you feel good, especially when it comes to your emotions as well. You know? Okay, with the ten of chalices, I'm getting like happy, like someone that just completely fulfills you even like emotionally. Alright. We have the Queen of Chalices in reverse here. So sometimes you can feel like this person is like emotionally like off balance or like emotionally um like under the weather, like sad. Okay, you could feel like this person is sad, or you could feel like you want to cheer someone up here. Where it's like depressed, okay, this human energy could be going through um, some sort of um, sickness. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's just the energy that came up, okay? Spiritual angels and ancestors. My visionary messages. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, please, as well, visionary, to support the channel here. Yeah, wow, I can't make this up. Seven principles. All right, I don't want to say this, but this is just what is coming up. There could be a feminine energy that is actually like dealing with or battling some sort of illness. This could be someone in your family side, no side message that could be actually um, going through or battling some sort of illness here. All right, this could be like an aunt I'm getting. This person could be passing over. Some sort of fruitfulness though here yeah knight of wands okay you could shortly after receive something or be taking some sort of action towards like your work or something along the lines of that visionary messages all signs all signs visionary messages here ace of uh, ace of cups i saw so something that you are um that emotion that we super or very much so emotionally fulfills you like that's complete emotional fulfillment with the ace of cups the ten of cups is like family fulfillment emotionally like in that aspect of things and then the ace of cups talks more about just you know just being fulfilled emotionally like your cup overflowed type of energy yeah we are the ace of cups again as i'm challenging or the um as i'm channeling it and then we have the three of cups there's gonna be some sort of celebration Okay, you could be going to some sort of celebration, some sort of gathering, some sort of function, party. Um, yeah, King of Swords, so also something about truth here is very significant. We have the Empress here as well, so a lot of you all could be in your Empress energies. Or someone along the lines of that, dealing with the motherly figure as well, like as I was saying. Alright, let's see. So we have the King of Swords energy. We also have the, ooh, what's this? The Hierophant, okay? So this is someone that's a very much so spiritually awakened or um, I'm getting magician energy with the Hierophant here as well. It's someone that is absolutely like um, spiritually awakened, yeah, Prince of Chalices, someone that's also very charming. Like I see the Knight of Chalices and the Prince or the Princess of Chalices like together like with one another. So this is actually like, yeah, some sort of, um, this person, I feel like this feminine energy is actually extremely fulfilled here. Okay, within themselves. But this is going to be you here. Yeah, after some sort of victory and success. Especially when it comes to some sort of like mother figure. Okay, mother or father figure and or father figure. I'm getting and father figure here. Yeah, king of wands. This could be something about like your attractiveness. Okay, you both could be very handsome, charming, beautiful. Okay, so you all could have like a very particularly handsome or um primal look to you even king of wands has like a very primal like um energy about him king of pentacles yeah especially just being very um fixated um structured organized here as well okay so you're coming up or showing up as somebody that is a that is able to take care of things or this is the masculine energy i feel like this king of Chalices energy is um is is getting like an energetic upgrade or moving into a much more kind of like wands like energy very structured energy very like king like bashful type of energy is what i'm getting all right um this could be the mother figure and the father figure of these energies here is what i'm channeling as well but the, the, this uh princess of chalices so is actually coming up as the uh queen of pentacles and the high priestess as well as the princess of swords it's kind of like it's kind of like uh <laughs> i don't know y'all we have the full card energy so there is some sort of leap of faith possibly that this masculine energy is wanting to take as well as like this person could feel as if you have a lot of options okay visionary so you can even have a lot of options when it comes to who you want to collaborate with who you want to work with or which kind of direction you want to move in is what i'm getting all right 
we have a justice interview. So something is actually balancing out here, okay? Or is uh, it's even in the judicial system, this could be. This could be something that you're working on in the judicial system or in the um, kind of like that energy. Something along the lines of that. Or something is absolutely like balancing out. Possibly like your mental or like your mentality about something is definitely getting a lot more clear, a lot more balanced here, okay? This could be about what you're working on, which is why you could want to take a leap of faith. Um, you could feel a lot more comfortable with what you're doing or how you are positioning, yeah, how you are growing something or putting something or making something for yourself. Let's see, spirits are going to be ancestors. Seven of Wands here. Yeah, exactly. This could take a lot of work for you, from you here, a lot of energy. This could be something that you've done like toiling and laboring over, <laughs> something that you've been putting a lot of work into. But I'm seeing that something is actually very um, fruitful for you here. Okay? This is something that you're not willing to give up on either with the uh, Nine of Pentacles. Also, yeah, the Tarot deck. I'm going to be using, I'm going to put that up right like that, actually. And then we'll move this up here. Because I think I like how that looks. Yeah, see what I'm trying to do, right? Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel as well. Or just leave a donation. Um, any size donations, smallest uh, size donation, two largest size donations are appreciated all over here on Prince Tay. All right, I really appreciate it. Also, feel free to follow me on my social media down in the description box below. If you want to support a person or reading with me, you can reach out to me um, via social media as well as my Instagram, I said my Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> Facebook, and my email will be in the, uh, in the description box below. All right, so like, comment, subscribe. Okay, share the video if you can. Follow me on my uh, uh, my uh, social medias, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. <clears throat> my email will also be in the description box below. But share, yeah. So this energy, this is like a more, like I'm channeling like very, this is like, this, I'm tapped in right now. So I'm channeling for y'all. Like, um, I'm like really into the energy right now here. Okay, so absolutely uh, moving into balance here with whatever this is that you're communicating or committing to yourself here, okay? Some sort of, uh, ooh, some sort of like, yeah, this was a hot card that just popped out. So some sort of like stardom that you could be moving into here, all right? You could want to um, bring someone with you or kind of partner up or kind of find like someone that matches you energetically, all right? Three of Wands energy came flying out of the color. Or someone that you could just, you know, create with, build with you, or take a new leap of faith with. You could be looking for a partner right now, okay? Along the lines of that. Someone along the lines of that here, okay? Well, something is absolutely someone that you could even, like, lay with, okay, is what I'm getting. Eight of Swords energy. But something about this energy is, like, very much so on your mind. Like, it's heavy around your intuition. Like, like I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of you are... are always feel like you are always picking up like on love connection or something like that so it's obviously in your energetic frequency a lot of my creators vibrate in the frequency of love which is the highest frequency in fact all right let's see spirits was ages ancestors yeah three of swords in reverse i feel as if a lot of you I mean, we're not taking reverse so we're going to Visionary messages, spiritual and his ancestors. Visionary messages, please. Visionary messages, spiritual and his ancestors. Visionary messages, please. Yeah, yeah, we have a seven of um a child. So something that kind of makes you feel good about yourself, or something that makes you really happy. Okay, it gives you um, a, a lot of uh, freedom. Kind of like it makes you feel as if like you're free, like in this childlike state of uh, energy here. Okay, in private here. Okay, this is something that you could create in your alone time, or in certain aspects of that here with this hermit energy. Or this is something that you have a lot of knowledge about. More, uh, more specifically, this is something that you're really knowledgeable. Um, about with this hermit energy. This is also Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus energy, so you could be one of those three. This Libra energy is very much so sticking out to me. I'm like, I wanna like make this more like, yeah, okay, let's see. 
Yeah, this Virgo energy is actually, the Libra energy and Virgo energy is very significant here. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So some of you all could feel stuck or not know what your next moves are or like what to do next or something along the lines of that. Or something is keeping this energy stagnant. Possibly past energy is keeping this energy stagnant. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, Princess of Pentacles. I feel as if you all are in a perfect position or in a position to you know go ahead and like actually get contracts like you know working with people or kind of in this energy of like being able to um split bread break bread okay with others or along the lines of that work with other people here yeah five of wands here so i feel as if this is something that's a very competitive or you're in a very competitive field or lane along the lines of that or kind of you know work something out with others here right and work with people yeah in order to create something new here with the ace of wands or kind of yeah exactly and work on something passionate okay work on something passionate with you here okay star energy something about ascension okay and hands are hot with the chariot energy as well as this talks about forward movement even traveling here okay in the near future look out for a lot of my visionaries could actually be really really taking off and going places to where they never thought they would go okay or in general <clears throat> Nine of, yeah, we have the Sun card. So we have the Nine of Swords, Sun card, King of Chalices. So with the Nine of Swords, I was going to say a lot of like mental anxiety, but I feel like the Sun, like your 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 illumination or like your positivity or like your, your conviction or just how you um, illuminate things or bring things to light is like really overcoming that or really uh, overshining that energy. Yeah, that magician energy, like you're a limitless of being, your understanding and operating in that kind of... Um, limitless energy here with the magician energy yeah princess of wands looking very attractive okay king of chalice is also being very balanced in one's emotions here kind of making very um very grown decisions okay grown man grown grown as uh let me not say that just grown grown man grown shit decisions here okay looking very good by doing so as well okay a lot of you all can work in the beauty industry along the lines of that or could work yeah i don't know if this like camera is foggy or if it's just me it might have been just me <laughs> all right but let's see spirits of things ancestors spirits of things ancestors yeah i want to show this off because i like i love this piece actually like a lot it's actually a really nice piece let's see spirits of things ancestors Visionary messages. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Yeah, five of Chalice is in reverse here. Yeah, you're not like. <laughs> I get like, you're not wanting to cry over spilled milk about things. Like you're in a very forward action oriented uh, uh, way of thinking right now, especially processing emotions here. Okay, you could be even like looking back at like the things that you could have done, like shoulda, coulda, woulda energy. Okay. Yeah, nine of wands here. So a lot of you all could have been scapegoated, okay? But the nine of wands talks about hard work and determination as well, is what I'm getting. So you're not trying to want to, like, I like get a lot of you all are kind of, like, looking at the things that you have done. Like, dang, I put a lot of work into this and, like, actually, like, recognizing that or realizing that here. Yeah, with the four of uh, pinnacles. So I'm getting, like... Quality over quantity is the energy that I'm getting with this four of uh, pentacles here. So a lot of you all could be like taking on that kind of way of thinking. All right, as well. I'm getting like holding on to what's yours. So you could be like really fighting for what's yours, something along the lines of that. Or could be, yeah, with the star. Yeah, you could be like exactly having to defend your stardom. Exactly is what I'm getting more specifically or wanting to um, have more ways to kind of um, propel you or put you on on display i guess you would say here especially with the queen of wands like as i said a lot of you all could be in the industry of some sort to where you are seen you are viewed you're you're you are shown okay the queen of wands is a performer she's an entertainer she's also a um community um community worker so a lot of you all could work you know in the community dealing with like fashion beauty fashion all of that um nature even here okay just queen of wands is very joyful Lighthearted energy. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries energy with the Queen of Wands. All right. We have the Hangman energy coming up, right? 
queen knight of swords so someone could want to send in this queen of send queen of wands like energy someone like a partnership here you could be looking for some that could be someone that you are wanting or working with that could want to go ahead and um, send in some sort of opera op or opportunity there could be a, a uh, an element of um of hesitation even or like uh cold feet getting getting cold feet or something like that like i don't know like an element of kind of like you know um what's the term i'm looking for y'all know what i'm saying okay especially about a two of cups situation so this could be something like this could be something that could also turn into like a romantic energy after the fact here is what I'm getting with the two of chalices as well. So, or even the, or even before, during, this could be dealing with a, a love situation here, okay? So there absolutely could be some sort of communication coming in um, about a, there's something about this queen of wands, about how beautiful they are, how successful they are, how, okay, you, you could be getting a lot of accolades here, okay, this could be your partner, they could be receiving a lot of, like, good, good like, um, repertoire here, okay, someone that you work with, or just, you know, your wife, your hubby, your sister, your brother, okay, just someone that you are actually, like, invested in with here, okay, a loved one, let's see, spirits of angels, ancestors. Visionary messages. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as well. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for continuing to tune in to my tarot card readings on Prince Tay. All right. Spirits of his ancestors. I hope y'all like the setup. I hope y'all like the vibe. All right. Um, as well as feel free to leave any size donation. And my cash app will be in the description box below or even in the title of this video. Okay. Very much so manifestation. Manifestation or manifestation. She says it is okay. Is what I'm getting. Um, that you all are embodying or working with here. Okay, four chalices, seven of wands. So it could be a little rainy where you are. Okay, or it could be like under the weather where you are. Okay, this could kind of like make you feel some, you know, some type of way. Even okay, I would get a lot of you all could like heavily be affected by the weather or like the energy that the weather kind of surrounds or is bringing here. Okay, but I say that you all are absolutely kind of making things work in your favor the best way you can here with the nine of wands the four of pentacles here you all could feel as if you are in a lack right now especially when it comes to like yourself emotionally here. okay a lot of you all could feel um disconnected uh, from your intuition especially yeah that's the truth especially when it comes to something a, a family situation or a fulfillment that makes you happy okay i see that you're still in this very like prince or princess energy this is absolutely giving like um fairy tale energy like like start like one of those loves that's like what's a, what am i trying to say like you know like the prince charming type energy then we have the king of pinnacles on the bottom of the deck hold on y'all i got it I had to get my little juicy, juicy fruit lip gloss because my lips was looking a little dry. I ain't even gonna hold you. Them dress was looking dry as a bit. <laughs> okay, so we had to go ahead and fix that. So let's get back into the energy. Spirits of Angels Ancestors, let's get into it. And as well as wanting to like speak real quick, show my face. So back to my visionary messages. We're gonna go ahead and get into the spirit text. All right, let's see. Yeah, King of Pentacles energy. So this is something that you are working on for yourself. Something that's actually gonna be very um stable for you. Okay. Something that you're gonna be able to stand on or kind of lean back on here with the King of Pentacles energy, something that's gonna be very lucrative for you. All right.
That's fire. All right, let's get into spirit messages, higher self messages. What can my visionaries look forward to in this energy or could be going through here in this energy? Um, working with, working through here. Okay, spirit messages. Let's see, spirit of angels, ancestors. Higher self messages for my visionaries, please. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to support the video that support the channel as well. Check out my new film that I just uploaded um, as well as follow me on my social medias down in the description box below. My cash tag and my cash app will be in the description box or either in the title of this video as well, visionaries, if you want to go ahead and make some sort of um, small donation. Here we go. Let's see. Spirits, ancestors, higher self messages here for my visionary energies check out again that new production i just posted it is a um get you a zodiac sign kind of vlog reading um film uh vlog a movie if you will even um to some extent here all right so something here we have friend group energy higher self messages for my visionaries please romance here all right <clears throat> so you could you could like somebody that you're working with here, okay? Or something turned into, a, um, or is turning into a much more um, emotional connection or involvement here, okay? Romantic energy, spirits, angels, ancestors, visionary messages, higher self visionary messages here, please and thank you. Yeah, full, okay? I feel like this you, you f fulfillment, okay? Or you full this? I'm not sure what this energy of full is, okay? I'm gonna see. Full of love, okay? Full of um, ideas, even you could be full of them. All right. Let's see. Spiritual things, ancestors, visionary messages. Yeah, radio love here, okay? So something about the radio as well. Okay, let's go. You could want to go on a trip or uh, travel with one another here. Okay, you could want to bring someone with you here. Okay, let's see. Let's get into the energy now. Something about let's go. Jump in here. Yeah, applause. Yeah, this is something. Yeah, progression. Some sort of sudden progression that you're going to have here. Okay, this is very rare here. Okay, you are absolutely defining something independently on your own visionaries. Yeah, eureka, light bulb moment. Ricochet. It's like your energy bounces back off of you yourself here okay some sort of royalties that you could be fulfilling or um, getting ready to receive here definitely getting some sort of push and pull energy that you're working on which is like it's like a sh part like chef's kiss here okay we have good guy good girl in reverse here lab rat in reverse mix in reverse as well as limited so a lot of you all could be limiting your um how your intuition in a way limiting how much you tap in is what I'm wanting to say. Okay. Yes, yeah, sweet. So something works for you for sure. Okay. Celibacy could be celibacy could be extremely important here as well as screen here. All right. So I'm not sure. This could be a way that you're harnessing your energy or continuing to um, work in this energy. I guess with uh, uh, your celibacy, I want to get more into the tarot, honestly. So we have a tower moment. So there could be some sort of shocking event or maybe, or you all could um, be going to an event, some sort of shocking um, event. And the tower isn't used, isn't always a bad energy. Tower is scorpionic energy. It represents transformation, building something down to build something back up. I'm also getting Mona Lisa, the Mona Lisa. Okay, so it's uh, significant here. All right, Ace of Pentacles here. Okay, I feel like as you like this breaking down of something and uh, is actually going to be very beneficial and lucrative for you. King of Swords energy, getting a more cutthroat kind of like um, boss or, or authoritative energy could be um, beneficial or significant to you here. Yeah, we have the Princess of Swords. So absolutely a feminine energy is looking at this masculine or towards a masculine energy. This could be someone that they spotted. All right, this could be, I mean, this doesn't have to be feminine or masculine energy, but there's an energy of, no, okay, yeah, I'm getting like this Knight of Chalice's energy is this kind of Princess of Swords energy in a way. Right. Yeah, something about some uh, victorious here. Okay, someone wants to celebrate with you or some, some sort of um, success is going to be coming in possibly after a um, 
a, a gesture of some sort, possibly between a, a king of swords energy and a, a air sign energy, a, a prince of swords energy or princess of swords energy with the king of wands. So getting back into this very passionate and fiery kind of primal energy, king of wands really relies on his instincts um, for majority of the time here, okay, or in general here with the King of Wands. A lot of you all could be making um, instinctual investments or moves or relying a lot on your um, in your instincts here. Okay, Ten of Wands here, Two of Pentacles. So you can want to work with someone to help get these burdens or remove these kind of like um, burdens that you have here or could help you overcome a lot of the burdens that you are carrying here. Okay, with the Eight of Pentacles, something in regards to like your work. Okay, this could be some sort of foundation here that you're working towards as well. Okay, we have the queen of wands here yeah we're even working on like your your beauty your um your uh positioning your production your um your um what's the your impressions here okay is what i'm getting queen of wands yeah, tapping back into that kind of fiery, creative, and passionate energy for yourself here. It's going to be, we're putting a death to that here, okay? I'm not sure. Maybe, yeah, possibly kind of operating more out of your emotional energies here. Um, you could even feel as if it's actually beneficial or works well with you, or it's how you're going to be able to bring something together, or it's how you are bringing something together. Yeah, enlighten me here. Kind of taking a much more structured approach or uh, energy to something here, balancing, uh, making a balance between both the creative and the structured energy that you're working with here, okay? Especially with this Princess of Pentacles or the Prince of Pentacles here, um, being very... Um, um, dict dictatorial, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Okay, the full card. This is something new, something outside of your comfort zone that you could even have been on your mind often. Or you may have, yeah, okay, we have the Emperor energy, but I see that you all have made a decision here, okay, about moving forward in a, a certain uh, direction. Okay, the sunflower, I'm here. Because you'll be left in the dust unless I stuck by you. You're my sunflower. I think you'll ever be too much. Okay, some of my minds are that, and I'm just hearing that post Malone energy. I'm also hearing practicing um, energetically, like um, energetic balance here um, with one another or yourself here more specifically. But we have the Queen of Wands, the Princess of Wands, and the Six of Chalices. There could be a specific mother figure in your past here, some sort of uh, memories here, your Hierophant as well as father figure here. Okay, so two very important energies here. Um, that are standing out, okay, and this absolutely be someone as a higher position of authority or that holds a higher position in your life, more specifically. You could want to go towards them or take a trip or something along the lines of that here, but this chariot energy, I'm hearing like going on like a past, like, like a past, like memories here is what I'm getting. Could help you even. Let's see, yeah, no longer wanting to build with something or someone or kind of like removing yourself from like your family is what I'm getting. A lot of you all could in order to kind of, yeah, um, powerfully kind of like um, um, manifest what you want for yourself. Okay, create the reality that you want for yourself here. Yeah, you could be doing this in solitude, in secret or in solitude. High priestess energy. Or just in your own time here, okay? This is absolutely, like, very magical energy that I'm channeling with the moon card and the high priestess. This is very uh, intuitive energy as well as with the hermit energy. So higher knowledge as well. Akashic energy. Um, yeah. Yeah, taking passionate action, though. This energy, um, ooh, this energy actually kind of, like, uh, you have a lot of passion for it, whatever this is that you are um, working on or creating here. All right, let's see. Spirits as angels, ancestors for my visionary messages, visionary energies. Let's see. Higher self messages for my creators, visionaries. Please and thank you. Spirits as angels, ancestors. Vibrations, yeah, something about your vibration. Yeah, you are you are heavily connected. You are highly connected here. Okay, success. Your connection to your like 
um, energy is absolutely going to help you in your path, your realm, your field here. Because it's going to actually usher in some sort of success. It's going to make you so very successful. So keep at it here is what spirit is saying. Higher self messages here. Okay. Your higher self could even feel as if they feel you more. Like you could be feeling your higher self more or getting more in tune or tapped into your higher self and these energies with the vibrations and connected. I'm also getting a golden ticket here. Okay. Um, Willy Wonka. That's what I'm getting as well. So you could want to, um, that could be, yeah, really Wonka. You could want to work with others here, okay? Um, past life energy, yeah. So this is something that you actually succeeded in in your past life. Some sort of exposure here as well is what I'm getting. Or some sort of past life energy. Yeah, astrology even. You could want to take off with the idea here that you have. <clears throat> Excuse me. Vehicle even. Travel somewhere here. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of success coming up for you here. For you all here. Okay, a lot of you all could be working on getting a new vehicle. Some sort of going to a new place here. Okay, with someone that you love. Or with the love of your life. Okay. Yes, yeah. The spirit's like, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> that sounds great. All right. So a lot of you all could want to know where you are want, wanting to know where you want to go here. Okay. It will be an ideal place for you. Okay, pretty Let's see. Sounds good. Love. Pretty spirits and his ancestors. Higher self messages. So I'm, I'm seeing the, the word play a lot here. So something about playing is a super significant here. Okay. Getting in tune with kind of like, you know, that fun, loving side as well as like that childlike kind of innocence or just, you know, that carefree type of energy. Yeah. I feel like that'll help you raise your vibration here a lot. Higher self messages, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Yeah, so many options or opinions and so many options here. Okay, a lot of people could have, you could have a lot of opinions about what you're doing. Is this right? Is this wrong? Is this helpful? Is this real? Is this not? Okay, whatever this is. But you're handling this in a very noble way. That's why I'm getting very princess and prince vibes here. Okay, loves you. So your higher self wants to know that, likes to let you know that you love you, that they love you. Okay, let's see. Picky. Okay, so you could be very picky with who you want to kind of um, share your fountain or your love with, your cups here with, okay? Moon card and reverse energy. So I'm seeing a lot of you are operating out of your light aspects here, um, less of your shadow and more of your lighthearted energy. Or something is no longer covered up here or overcasted or covered up here. All right, let's see. Yes, yeah, smoke, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Um, spirit's telling me it's smoke, so I'm going to smoke. Something that you do in the public eye. A lot of you all could be in the public eye of some sort here, okay, as well. But um, absolutely, I feel like something is hot, all right? Something is a good idea. And it's real here, okay, that you're working on. Let's see. Let's see, spirits and his ancestors actually works here. Yeah, fiction, hometown. This is something like hometown hero or um, something actually helps you move higher or uh, levitate you higher. A lot of you all could want to move back to your hometown or something along the lines of that here. Okay, that sounds sweet or that's sweet. Or maybe you get your sweetness from your hometown or maybe you are on the same wavelength or energetic frequency as a lot of other people, others from your, your hometown or, or along the lines of that here. Okay. Or you could not want to travel to your hometown, okay? Something that you get is from your hometown, though, okay? And it's sublime, all right? <laughs> Whatever this passion, this path, this energy that you are working on, that you are engulfed in, it's absolutely, like, yeah, top of the notch here, okay? Vehicle energy. So definitely working on kind of, like, moving the wheels, getting the wheels rolling on, on things, okay? On certain aspects here as well, Okay. This could even, as I said, this could even be you all actually getting a vehicle or working on getting a vehicle here for oneself here, okay? Yeah, passionate. You could be very passionate about cars, about um, trucks, vehicles of some sort. A lot of you all could be mechanic, mechanical engineers, um, engineering in general here, all right, is what I'm getting. Yeah, section, craft here. Okay, irrational. That's like a backup plan or something along the lines of that you have. Okay, either way, you're going to be successful at something here with this lump sum energy. Okay, in contrast and defense, you can have something that kind of keeps you afloat here. Okay, moving, you can want to set, uh, defend something and make something. Um, uh, dang, I lost it. Um, defense or kind of um, what's after defense? It was defense, moving, proof. 
contrast, lump sum. So you can have something that keeps you kind of uh, bubbled up, that kind of uh, keeps you afloat to certain things here, or in general here, okay? You could have proof of this, a paranormal as well. This could be a proof of your spiritual gifts as well. Spiritual and ancestors, higher self messages from my visionaries. I hope this is resonating with you all. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as well. I'm here in national, so world renowned. I'm also here in nationality. You could be traveling around the world, doing like a world tour, of some some sort, journeying the country here. Okay, world tours could be significant to you all here. All right. Yeah, facts. Karmic, magical, somewhat. Some people, could, some people could feel as if you are karmic energy. Some people could not know what type of energy that you operate out of here, okay? It could be really hard to read your energy or something along the lines of that. Uh, that's what I'm getting with that. And then I saw somewhat, but absolutely some sort of journey. Uh, meditation. Traveling. Higher self messages. Ooh. Yeah, somewhat. I don't know. It's like so so, but it's like so what? Like, I feel like a lot of y'all just like so what? Like, who cares? You know, just do your thing. But I'm getting definitely world tour, cross country like energy. Okay, I keep saying karmic energy pop up here. Okay, so I don't know if you all could be operating out of more karmic energies. Or you could be surrounded by karmic energies. Or if you are a karmic energy, okay, for my karmics watching, if you are, hey. <laughs> they cause spirit is calling y'all out. Look, karmic. <laughs> okay, there could be a specific karmic that is watching you or like keeping tabs on you here. All right. Yeah, trilogy. This is something that has like continued on. Yeah, surprise. Wow, look at that. Spirit is scary. This is magical. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, and then we have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. It's funny because then we have the Devil Car energy. So finding like that passion, um, but yeah, magical. Getting that passion, that zest back for something. Yeah, I want to keep going. My spirit is like hot right now. Ooh. I hope this resonates with you. Because I'm about your face as well. Okay. Recipe, you actually could have the recipe or have found your perfect kind of touch to something or niche or exist to something. Something's going to work out perfectly for you. Um, sudden breakthrough as well as what I'm getting. Yeah, loyalty. Okay, you could be loyal to your craft. Yeah, meditation. When you get in this, this state of meditation, it's on the lines of that. Let's see. <laughs> Through the ancestors, let's get back into the tarot. Switch into the tarot. Let's see. Well, we have the seven of swords as well as the four of swords here. So there's something that you are kind of like sleeping on, but it's more like hibernating <laughs> is actually what I'm getting. It's definitely, it's like hibernational energy. Let's see. Spirits of ancestors. Ooh. Yeah, something that you're... Um, uh, nurturing or getting, more, or getting into a, a more nurturing energy or something that you're just actually nurturing yeah strength this is taking a lot of willpower out of you to continue to kind of build and um, fixate on even build or nurture okay and continue to grow for lack of better terms here yeah, this is something that you're, like, very passionate about. Like, you're going to continue. It's, like, with a five of swords and reverse energy. Yeah, moon card energy. So this is something, like, it's working in, like, your feminine energy. This could be how, like, you get over thing. I'm not sure, but I'm getting that Mona Lisa energy as well here. Okay, sun card energy here. So definitely some sort of Leo masculine energy here. Um, or just, you you know, just very enlightened. All right, Sun Car energy and Leo energy also uh, talks about enlightenment here. So you can be heavily enlightened on a certain craft or particular craft here that you are working with or knowledge even that you have here. Okay, Two of Swords, I'm not sure, but definitely some sort of communication going out here. Okay, and, we're, and, and, and wanting to get together, a possible get together. 
with like you know people that you consider like your family i'm getting like treehouse vibes okay code name kids next door <laughs> is what i'm getting I don't know, this does not look like the, uh, come on now, y'all know what I'm talking about. This does not look like the treehouse from Codename Kids X or Let's be honest. So we have the Tempest energy here as well. So they're even building something. You could want to build something because this treehouse actually looked like, if you see, there's like a, a multiple energies working with one another to build some sort of um, uh, castle or treehouse or uh, found uh, commitment foundation here to any a certain extent here temperance and this is something that you're having to practice a lot of temperament with here okay but i'm definitely getting that you all are going to be coming out of the dark about something here or like returning it's like literally rising like see the hermit energy and then this energy is like coming towards the light so absolutely it's like getting back to your sun Spiritual and his ancestors, visionary messages. Someone rising Venus North, though. Also, yes, yeah, star. Rising to stardom here, okay? Coming out of this hermit energy is going to help you rise to the stardom. Or with you in this hermit energy is going to help you rise to your stardom. Right? This is a good asset to um, whatever plan or um, whatever endeavor that you're working on or working with. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah, this lighting is like throwing me off because it's making it look blurry when it's absolutely not blurry there we go spirit source and ancestors higher self messages from my visionaries yeah ace of chalice this is absolutely fulfilling to you this is something so um much fulfilling this is something new okay i'm getting like woo passion I'm getting like a fire, like a, a flame of passion, like a new spark of something here. Okay, Ace of Chalices, Ace of Wands, Illumination. Ooh, power. Ooh, that's two powerful energies right there. Eight of Wands here. Ooh, yeah, a lot of passion I'm getting. Yeah, this is something that's going to help you clear your mind about something. Yeah, no face, no case. <laughs> Six of Pentacles, this is actually also going to help you move into a more charitable energy. Humble is what I'm hearing. Or giving energy. This is going to make you more giving. Yeah, and especially when it comes to working with people, okay? And even lovers' situations that you are working or that you have um, committed to or been in here. Okay, absolutely. It's going to take a lot of stress off your mind here. This may actually move this Wheel of Fortune in your, much more in your favor. Yeah, this is going to um, have to um, conjure up or control yourself more. Okay, this is absolutely going to help you contain some sort of things or um, just exercise that strength and that valor here. Okay, it's going to um, have a lot of a power behind. Okay, I'm getting Taurus energy in this as well as Leo energy. Yeah, early bird. Something earlier in the day that you're starting. This could be something that you're actually wanting to prioritize for yourself here as well. Higher self messages. Or this is something that takes you higher here, okay? Yeah, wow. Some sort of breakthrough here, okay? Exercising more boundaries here, okay? But, yeah. Yeah, surprise, okay? This would be something new or people are not going to um, look forward to or are not going to expect or be looking to... Um, get from you okay more say and it's also going to be something more playful that you're able to going to have uh, be you know have more fun with here okay loki you're gonna have fun with this here okay make sure y'all like comment and subscribe thank y'all so much for tuning in to prince tay i hope this visionary channel message or higher energy could help or benefit you in any way shape or form make sure to like comment and subscribe support the channel as well as follow me on my social media in the description box down below here Okay, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram handle will all be in the description um, box as well as uh, reach out to me, email. If you want to go ahead and book a personal reading with me, you can even look for me on my social media platforms that I um, put out or listed as well as 
leaving me a donation, my donation box, my cash out will be in the description box below or even in the title of this video. All right, y'all. Later. Bye. Later. Later.